So I am about to do a quick shampoo of my extensions. Um, this is what the hair looks like right now before washing it. What I did was I used this on my scalp and massaged it in. So this is these extensions is a basic sew-in, a traditional sew-in. So it's braids all over. Um, that's why when I move it, the whole thing moves like a helmet. <laughs> but um, it's really itchy, so I need to shampoo my hair. So I'm going to rinse. So now that this is in my hair, I'm just gonna rinse it out, and then I'm going to follow up with my leaf and flower shampoo and conditioner followed by sacred moisture seal lotion so originally i was going to try using sacred for the whole process but i only have sample sizes of the sacred and i don't want to waste it i'd rather use it on my own hair so because i'm just i'm washing my extensions i'm just going to use the sacred styler um, just to see how that looks on this hair um, so yeah I'm gonna come back once I'm done this is how much shed hair came from the washing conditioner um, or conditioning and detangling so my hair is now freshly shampooed and conditioned and now I'm about to go in with sacred's moisture sealing lotion right here to do the styling so it's already detangled as well I just put it in three sections so there's these two sides and then this um, in the front and I'm gonna use this brush that I got from Amazon to do my like styling so I'm gonna work with this section first and again I have my hair is in um, a sew-in weave traditional so all of this is out um, so I'm just starting with show you how much I'm gonna use this amount to start off with emulsify it in my hands smells so good and then just kind of work it in so first I'm just using ooh, that filter how it bounce out let me see well anyway it's a filter on me so it's gonna bounce in and out um, so yeah so I just kind of use my hands to kind of work the product in honestly I don't fully feel like I need to use that brush because I personally like how my hair is already separated so I may not use the brush I don't know maybe I'll use the brush on this side just to show you guys and at some point I'm gonna show y'all my edges because they used to be even worse than what they are um, but I was using a few different things to try and get them back and some of it kind of worked I think it was worse it was worse so put more in my hand about this much emulsify it get it all worked up and then go to this section And just kind of work it in. Sorry, the light is behind me, so it's and it's starting to shine a little bit more. And again, I'm personally okay with how it is, like the curls are clumping, so I might not use that brush. If anything, I might just use it in one little section or something. I don't know. But I don't, um, I like how it looks. So. Now, this is the last section. I did change my position to stand up. So, took it out. Got the moisture seal lotion pouring in about this much. Emulsify it in my hands. And I'm working on the ends first. 
and I'm just kind of combing it through with my hands, smoothing it through. And just to kind of, just to show you guys real quick with the brush, let's use this section, right? So with the brush, you would start on the ends, or I would start on the ends, and then just kind of work my way up. Get in the top section as well so that everything is nice and smooth. And then, so this is what it looks like when I use the brush. If I don't use the brush, it looks like this, like on the side. So I'm going to do that to the rest of the front space or uh, section it out. Start at my ends, brushing until I get to the top. Now this is not a detangling brush, it is a styling brush. So you do want to make sure that you pre-detangle before you use the brush, which I did when I was in the shower. So that's what that looks like. And do another little section. I like to work in sections when I'm styling my hair, usually small sections like I'm doing right now, depending on how I want my hair to look. So you'll see I kind of angle the brush as well. Okay, last section on this side, starting at the end, working under the hair until I get to the root area or the base of base area of my extensions. And then I'm gonna go over so that I can also smooth the top as well. And then the last is going to be uh, under, smoothing through everything to get those like uh, separations. So under, giving the hair a little bit of a tilt with the brush until I get to the end. And then there you have it. Give a little scrunch. So you can kind of see the difference between when I use the brush and if I don't use the brush and just use my hands. So, all right, I'm gonna just do the same to the other side. So I'm just gonna do the same to the other side. So we've already finished this side. Now I'm gonna go over here. And so again, I'm going under, then going over to smooth. And then with my last little smooth through next section and then I'm actually gonna air dry my hair I don't really like sitting under the dryer so I'm not gonna do it um, and I don't have a diffuser at home so I'm not gonna worry about it I'm just gonna let it air dry I will be adding moisture seal to my real hair as well just to make sure that it's moisturized before adding anything else to it um, because you always want to take care of your natural hair as well that's why I didn't want to use um, the sacred on my extensions because I rather use it on my real hair section this daggone uh, filter is bouncing all over the place so I've completed the brush I'm just gonna give it a little scrunch just to help with the curl and I'm just gonna let it air dry. Um, move some of this to the back so it's not like a big old gap with my extensions. And then, um, yeah, I'm gonna smooth back this part, add my moisture seal there too, and then I'll show you what it looks like once it's all dry. So of course, you know, the slick back, this does not look cute. 
at all, but this is not how I wear it. So usually the hair is going forward, covering that, that up. Um, or I'll wear like a headband. So until it actually dries, I'll probably wear a headband on and then let it fluff and get big. So that's what we're working with right now. I decided to take a walk outside just to kind of let my hair dry in the sun and the wind. I don't know if you can hear the wind, but it's pretty a nice breeze today. So um, this will definitely help to naturally dry my hair. So yeah. The exterior is pretty dry, it's just the inside close to the braids that still needs a little more a little more loving. is starting to dry a little bit I want to shake it up just a little bit just so I could get a little more volume in it so I'm just gonna flip it over shake and fluff at my roots a little bit with my hands shake it fluff at the roots with my hands it feels so soft Ooh. all right so that gave it a little more lift and I'm going to just keep letting it dry until it's like all the way, all the way dry. And then kind of really, I had to take this little sweater off too. It was getting hot. These guys are like, how can I get up here? Let's see. Ooh, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. All right, let's go this way. some food I was going to go to get a salmon salad from sushi bungalow I think it's called but they are closed on Mondays I think it is. So we gotta find food elsewhere let's find something cheap After my hair has dried, um, it's really, really soft, really, really soft. Um, I did use a pick to lift the roots up and give them more volume. So I did use a pick, but you can see, like, I didn't want to take this one out, but this little ringlet right here is a product of the brush that I used because under here I just smoothed the product in with my hands like finger combed and then up in this area I used my brush that I got from Amazon so yeah this is how it all looks and I only used the um, moisture seal look So the only product that I used was um, Sacred Moisture Seal Lotion and it's a very soft hold and it's very fluffy. The hair is so, 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 so soft. Um, I do like that. So I do want to see how long my hair can hold up um, with just using the Moisture Seal Lotion. Um, so I will be giving that a try just to see how it um, stands. Uh, usually, well not usually, because I, I switch up products a lot, but the last time that I um, styled my hair, 
like this. I use uh, the dew. Um, I think it was the one with the honey, the mousse with the honey. And I've really loved those results too. So I will see how it hold how this holds up compared to using the dew um, again what I really I mean there's frizz here there is definitely frizz but I like my hair to be kind of big so I don't mind it but it just feels so soft I can't stop saying how soft my hair feels